Well, hey everybody, Jonathan Doyle with you once again. Welcome aboard to the Catholic Teacher Daily Message going live, real time around the world. So good to have you with us. If you're a new uh, viewer, listener, please make sure you're subscribed and go and check out the show notes wherever you're hearing or seeing this because there's a free 10-week access to my Going Deeper program. There's a bunch of stuff there. If you want to book me to speak, it's all there. Go check it out. Um, Today I'm going to share with you a profound quote from Father Alexander Sherbrooke. Father Alex Sherbrooke is the parish priest of St. Patrick's Church in Soho, right in the middle of London. I have spent a fair bit of time at St. Patrick's Church in Soho in London. I had the great privilege in recent years of travelling there a few times, uh, travelling to do speaking tours in the UK, and I got to stay with Father Alex at the beautiful church of St. Patrick's Soho. It is truly an oasis. I'll try and remember, I always forget, but I'll try and remember to put a link to the parish in the show notes because it's a beautiful church. It is stunning. And it's truly an oasis because if you know London at all, Soho is the most busy, vibrant. It's got. It's, it's basically like the most alternative part of London in some ways. It's It's super alternative, super bohemian. And you walk through these massive melting pot streets, all these different cultures and languages and people. And then you open the doors and you go into St. Patrick's and it's a really, it's an extraordinary place. You just feel the presence of God just fall. So I got to stay there. I actually stayed with Father Alex on a speaking tour and had dinner with him. And and quite a beautiful man, you know, really just got a heart for evangelization. And he's somebody that does what I really admire which is he marries uh orthodoxy with evangelism he he takes the beauty of the riches of orthodoxy of the church's history its magisterium its architecture art music it's all it's teaching authority with a beautiful heart for reaching people can't do much better than that so today we're going to jump into his quote because It just goes to the heart of what I think is the fuel, is the energy for what we need to be doing every single day. Let's do it. While so much has seemingly defeated or overwhelmed us, our resources are limited. But our most potent weapon is the real presence of our Lord, celebrated at Holy Mass and prolonged in Eucharistic adoration. couple of points. First thing is he says it's... We do feel overwhelmed and quite defeated sometimes, don't we? We look at the problems in the world, the power of the forces that are arrayed against faith and family and love and and Catholic teaching. It's very easy to feel that we are defeated and in very difficult times. But he reminds us that we have an extraordinarily, extraordinarily powerful weapon. If you've seen me on stage, you've probably heard me quote from the Catechism about the Eucharist and the power of the sacraments where I talk about that beautiful quote from the Catechism. The Eucharist is what, friends? Everybody say it with me because if you're a regular viewer, you know we talk about this, that the Eucharist, according to the Catechism of the Holy Roman Catholic Church, is both what? The source and the summit of the faith. The Eucharist, Christ himself, is the source from which the entire Catholic faith flows. The Catholic faith doesn't pop into existence from philosophy. It doesn't pop, it doesn't pop into existence from politics. It doesn't pop into existence from sociology. It pops into existence. It comes into the, into the temporal order in real human time. It comes from a person. And that person is Christ. And every time that he is made manifest on the altar through the hands of a priest and the beauty of transubstantiation in the sacramental order, that is the source of our faith. We don't have a Catholic faith because we believe in a set of ideas. That is the next step after belief in a person and faith in a person. It is the source of our faith and it is the highest point of our faith. The highest point of Catholicism is not music, it's not art, it's not liturgy per se it's a person it's the eucharist itself so what father alex is telling us and he's ministering right on the front lines of profound human need is that the eucharist is the weapon and the consolation and the fuel for our ministry so summary 
if you're involved in Catholic education and the Eucharist is not a significant part of your life, you are going, even if you are, feel you're doing really well, you're not doing rem remotely what you could, what God could be using you to do if you were drawing upon the graces of that sacramental order. How do you build a great Catholic school? It's a Eucharistic school. It's a school where Mass is celebrated. Most, many of the best Catholic schools I've seen are schools where there is Eucharistic adoration available. So if you're a principal listening to this, you want to turn enrollments around, have Eucharistic adoration and get the staff to be on their knees before God begging for enrollments, crying out to God for enrollments. If you've got tension and problems in your staff, have Eucharistic adoration and as a principal be on your knees before God asking for healing and restoration in your staff. If you're a staff member that's overwhelmed by the difficulties of teaching, be on your knees at Eucharistic adoration asking God to carry you through the difficult time and to give you what you need to be what he needs you to be. So friends, Father Alex's message is really simple for us. It's simply that no matter how difficult things get, we have the most potent weapon in the cosmos. We just need to start drawing into it. Please make sure you're subscribed. Go check out all the links in the show notes. Grab all the free stuff that's there. Find out how to book me to speak. But for now, my name's Jonathan Doyle. This has been the Catholic Teacher Daily Message, and I will have another message for you tomorrow.